I promised a, an envelope today. And here is my envelope. I took it and I put this green leafy thing here, fern leaf or whatever, and then I fixed this on the inside. So I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. So therefore, just bear with me a few minutes longer and because this is very, very fast. Um, this is an envelope maker and these Stampin' Up! Uh, sells these. Actually, this one um, I've had for longer than I've been in Stampin' Up! But Stampin' Up! sells this envelope maker and it's wonderful. I love it. I never buy envelopes. I always make my own. And so I took a lightweight piece of the Whisper White cardstock, and because this card is a four, uh, four and a half, uh, actually it's a four and a quarter by five and a half. It's considered an A2 card, and so I'm taking this, and it shows me that I cut this paper eight and an eighth by eight and an eighth, and then I start this at three and a quarter over here. I put this in just like this. There is a three and a quarter mark right here. I make sure that this edge is there, and then I do this. I, I stamp it, and then I score it down the scoring line. Then I come over here, and on the, I put this on the scoring line. I wish this is something somebody would tell me. The first time I did this, I had no clue what I was supposed to do. I thought I was supposed to go back up to three and a quarter every time, and buddy, I had the weirdest looking thing. So, um, I want to make sure that with the envelope maker, you know how to fix this thing right. It doesn't take but a minute to come out with some really pretty envelopes. Now, and then this is going to be the long ways of the envelope. So on the back side of this right here, there is something that just rounds the top corner. And I always round this one too. Because when I put it together, this one really shows. And then all you have to do is to clean off the little bit of residue that has been left um, by this. There we go. And as I've said in other videos, I use a different color paper than white because this disappears when you're using white. Um, now, what I'm doing, I'm taking my bone folder, turning in each side, and this is, um, actually I need to turn it this way. Because you do it the opposite from the way it was uh, scored. See, it's just better to do this. Okay, then I take this tape, which is the extreme, which it's not going to come off. It could fly from here to um, Siberia, and it would still not come undone with this. So, anyway. Um, I'll make sure I didn't get any on here because it will stick to the card if I did. They're a little bit right there, but this little goop eraser takes care of that. By the way, those are available also with Stamping Up. And any of these products, if you would like, you can order them. You go to Stampin' Up! and you have to go under a demonstrator. If you will look for me, I am Lisa Austin. I am in Newton, North Carolina, and I would love it if you would order it under my name. Again, I say I'm Lisa Austin, and it's Newton, North Carolina. I am a Stampin' Up! distributor. Okay, I've got this ready. So the first thing I want to do before I do anything else, I'm going to take this, um, um, the mint macaroon, I'm sorry, not the old one. I'm taking the mint macaroon, and I'm going to put my fern leaf right back on here. And... Stamping it up really good, and then I'm just coming around the bottom edge of it, and I'm stamping off. It's not all going on. There's not enough room. And there it is. Now I'm going to 
going to I took a piece of this and I know the size of this when you've got this A2 card um, you can take a piece of this that's four and a half by four and a half now this is how I line it um, I'm taking this and as you can see it's not fitting exactly but I measured from here to here and it's four and a half inches that's how I know how to do this now what I'm going to do is I'm going back up here and I'm going to four um, to the four inch mark I'm gonna do this and, I, the, and I'm doing this only because I'll show you why in a minute uh, see it just leaves that little bitty corner there and then I'm going okay I've done it like this let me let me just start again I've done it like this and I have uh, scored it now I'm not going around like I usually do I am flipping it over and there's a reason for it you flip that over go back to the four inch mark up here again damp it then you do this now I'm taking this top piece I'm, and I'm rounding it off okay now let me show you why I did those scoring things because this is not going to fit in exactly like that therefore you have to take and you snip this off at the scoring lines there we go and now this fit in fits in here quite nicely and that gives you your lined look for your envelope so what i'm going to do and for the most part i use the extreme when i'm doing anything with an envelope fit this up um, that way i know it's going to stay stay put but you do not put any down here at the bottom you only put it right here where it's going to be above the fold do not put any at the bottom because if you do it will make a mess when you're trying to fold it it just doesn't it doesn't work so there we go and i'm leaving enough of a yeah of a border around it um and this stuff doesn't move when you put it down so all right and i'm leaving enough border around it because i am taking my this tape right here it's just strips of tape and i put them on my envelope to so that when i am ready to use it i only have to do pull that other little piece of tape pull the tape off and it's and then I can seal it okay that's that's the that's what I needed to show you for today your envelope and as I said this will fit in quite nicely you can mail it in the mail there's not a problem with it excuse me I just threw it away there you go this is my uh, butterfly basics card Thank you for watching. I hope you'll come back and watch again. Thanks.